Colombia advances to Women's World Cup quarterfinals for the first time after victory over Jamaica, France beats Morocco. Colombia reached the Women's World Cup quarterfinals for the first time in the country's history after a nervy 1-0 victory over Jamaica in Melbourne on Tuesday, while France confidently knocked out Morocco to reach the last eight. Catalina Usme brilliantly scored the winner for Colombia and, in the process, became the first player at this tournament to break Jamaica's stubborn defense. The Colombians' reward is a last eight tie against reigning European champion and world number no. four England in Sydney on Saturday, a match the South American team has the talent to win despite there being 21 places between the two sides in the world rankings. France's 4 0 victory over Morocco, a team which had reached the last 16 in its first foray in the competition, earns Le Bleu's a last eight tie against co host Australia on Saturday. Colombia, Morocco and Jamaica's unlikely journeys to the knockout stages will be a major reason why this tournament will be regarded as a success. After all, what is sporting romance if it isn't the traditional powerhouses faltering and the underdogs thriving against the odds? But Morocco struggled against one of the tournament favorites France, going 3-0 down within 23 minutes, while Colombia and Jamaica both appeared to be hindered by the consequence of defeat. But in doing just enough to beat Jamaica, Colombia became the first South American country to reach the last eight since Brazil in 2011. After the match, Colombia coach Nelson Abadia told FIFA it was a unique moment for women's soccer in Colombia and South America. This is the triumph of a human group that has worked hard to achieve consistency, to have a trade, character, personality, and today we played and won well, he said. Impossible to ignore. Some of Jamaica's players were in tears after the final whistle. But the country's presence in the round of 16 is particularly remarkable. Not only did the reggae girls progress from a group which contained favorites France and Brazil, but they did so having had to release a statement before the tournament expressing their utmost disappointment with the country's soccer federation. The team had missed several friendlies, the statement said, due to extreme disorganization and that they had showed up repeatedly without receiving contractually agreed upon compensation. In a statement on its website, the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, acknowledged that things have not been done perfectly but that it was working assiduously to resolve players' concerns. Chinyelu Asher, who played for Jamaica at the 2019 World Cup, told CNN before the competition began that the statement's purpose had been to make the federation take the women's team more seriously. The question now is what will be the response to the team's success, and that of other lesser-funded countries? While about $49 million of the record $110 million World Cup prize money will go directly to individual players, the rest of the pot will be split between participating federations who will decide what share of this money to allocate to teams and players, if any at all. Even though Jamaica's participation in this tournament ended in Melbourne, the players have sparkled on the world stage and made themselves, you would hope, impossible to ignore. You made us all proud, posted Usain Bolt, Jamaica's track and field great, after the match on social media. Jamaica keeps Caicedo quiet. The day's first match started as if it were to end in penalties. Jamaica relied on the defense that hadn't conceded a goal in the group stages and, like France and Brazil before them, Colombia struggled to puncture a well-organized backline. Having scored just once in the tournament prior to this tie, Jamaica's coach Lauren Donaldson had challenged his team to find the net, but the team managed just two shots on target and didn't enjoy enough possession to put sustained pressure on Colombia. There were flashes from Linda Caicedo, Colombia's talented 18-year-old, but the teenager was largely kept quiet in a match in which defense got the better of attack, other than for Usme's moment of magic. In the 51st minute, the Colombia captain delicately controlled Anna Guzman's incredible pass and placed the ball beyond Jamaica's Rebecca Spencer. Fittingly, it was the goal that would make history. Jamaica nearly leveled soon after when Colombia's Catalina Perez fumbled the ball on her goal line, but the South American side counterattacked quickly and troubled Jamaica once again only for Caicedo to be called offside. The longer the game progressed, the more freedom Caicedo enjoyed on the left flank, but Jamaica defended the threat posed by the Real Madrid player who has lit up this tournament with her wonderful skill on the ball. Jamaica had an opportunity to level late in the game, but Drew Spence headed inches wide. Colombia's Lacey Santos then hit the post in the final few minutes as the match came to life in the latter stages with Jamaica going in search of an equalizer. But despite a late flourish, Jamaica's prosaic approach ultimately proved to be its downfall. Ruthless France, later in the day in Adelaide, France quickly went 3-0 ahead to effectively end the match as a contest in the first half and further illustrate why the team is regarded as a favorite to win the competition. Two lovely team goals put Le Bleu's in command. Kate Adiadu Diani headed home after nice build-up play by her teammates on the left flank. 
Diani then turned provider when she found Kenza Dali, who arrowed home her shot to leave Morocco with a mountain to climb. Sloppy defending then made Morocco's task of a comeback almost impossible as Eugenie Le Summer scored her 91st international goal, finding the far post as France produced its ruthless best. Morocco was more competitive in the second half but in the 70th minute Le Summer headed home at the back post for her second of the match. It was a straightforward win for France but even in defeat Morocco has contributed much to a competition in which it made history.